Today, I'm gonna ride three electric bicycles and tell you which one I think is the best for the money. So the first bike I wanna talk about is this Aventon Solterra. This is a bike that was given to me by Aventon and uh, it's not too bad of an e-bike. Okay, so let's talk about the meat of this whole thing. This is an e-bike, so let's talk about how powerful the motor is. This is a 350 watt e-bike. It's rear wheel motored and the battery is here in the down tube and it is replaceable. So if you got more than one battery, there is a key fob on the other side here and you can just unlock it, pull the battery out, pretty easy. This bike comes with a little onboard computer. It tells you your speed. It tells you how much battery you have left. One of the best features is that it has a rear brake light and I know it's bright outside so you're not gonna be able to see too well, but there is a rear brake light. When I pull the brake, this light does turn red. So let's talk about some of the things I don't like. First of all, cable management. There's an e-bike. There is a lot of cables. You've got power, you got brakes, you got this computer, you got a headlight, you got the rear lights. This right here is a mess. This is not something I would recommend dealing with, especially if this is a bike you're gonna lock up outside. The way that these cables are ran, it's terrible, terrible design. Like what happens when you get a flat? You have to undo all of these zip ties to take your wheel off and change the flat. Another issue I have with this bike is when you actually start pedaling, it feels like a three second delay before the motor starts to kick in and move. You'd expect it to be a little more snappy. In some of the higher end e-bikes, you definitely feel that right away where this one has kind of a delay. So for $1,200, you kind of get what you pay for. You're getting a more of a budget, single speed throttle assist e-bike. All right, so you guys already know this one. This is my Cannondale Topstone Neo. This is an e-bike that I've had for a while. I have made some adjustments to it, but this is what I consider a high-end e-bike. And this is a tool for me. I use this for doing live streams during races, and more recently filming like live stream plus hotlines at the same time to carry the camera gear. So it's really been beneficial to help carry the extra weight on my back and on my head. I have made it a little bit of a change though. It is modified running single speed here. So it's only got one gear. So it's very similar to the other bike, the Aventon, with the exception of a bunch of little features that I'm gonna go over. The motor is in the bottom bracket and the engagement, as far as, as soon as I start pedaling, it is immediate power transfer. As soon as I touch the pedals down, that wheel starts going quick. Another thing I should talk about is that this is a 500 watt battery and it's removable right here the fork is a lefty and it's got a little bit of travel so it helps take out the bumps the rear also has a pivoting flexi rear end you can't see it as much <laughs> but i assure you it flexes down here and it pivots from here and it really helps get those shots smoother, especially for the live streams. This has disc brakes and they're hydraulic. They've been upgraded to uh, these flat bars. These are code RSCs. I have these same enduro brakes on my Transition Sentinel. The only other thing I can say about this bike is that it rips and this is by far the best e-bike I've ever owned. And I thought it would be wise to compare the Aventon Solterra to a bike that I own on the high end and as well as another bike that we're gonna to talk to here in a second. So let's go get it. All right, the third bike you guys are gonna be real familiar with. This bad boy is the Electric City Bike. Out of all three bikes, I've probably known this one the longest. These are available in New York City as well as other cities. Just like a regular city bike, except for it is electrified, as they say. One of the things about this bike that makes it unique is that it is a shared bike with other people here in New York City. This bike has no throttle, you just get on and pedal and it can jam pretty well. So some of the really negative parts about this bike are the fact that you might get a bike and it might be a piece of shit. Things might not work on it. Another crazy thing is inflation. This thing cost me $4. Plus it's another or something every minute. Kind of crazy, very expensive. I'd rather just go buy the Davidson than work one of these, but if you're in a pinch, these things will get you from A to B like that. What's going on? I don't know, it seems to not accept them, you feel me? Oh man. This is one of the pains of this bike, is finding a spot to park it. Sometimes they're full. 
and you're stuck with another e-bike, sometimes you just gotta take the off-road, bro. It's all about hitting the trails. I feel bad for the camera guy, he can't keep up. Poor Andre. Look at this. There's nowhere to park. I'm stuck with this thing. Oh, there's a spot, there's two. All right, there's three. I'm gonna go back around to the, to the spot here. Feel like I can do it. Uh-huh. So, out of all three bikes, which one would I recommend? Well, the first bike, if you had an endless pit of money, would be the Cannondale Topstone Neo. And if you are on a tighter budget, I'd go with the Aventon Solterra. And obviously, if you don't want to own at all, go with the uh, city bike. Um, it can get pricey, but if you only need it every once in a while, that's what I would do. Andre's first day as a cameraman, everybody. Here he is. How's this footage look? Let me know down below. We're trying to get him a job here at YouTube, filming some YouTube videos. This is his break-in period. All right, that's all we got for you today. We rode three bikes in one day and told you what my favorite of all three are. Obviously, there's a lot of people against e-bikes, but a bike is a bike, man. The more bikes, the more people out there riding, uh, the better it is for everybody, in my opinion. So get yourself a bike. Or an e-bike, okay. Okay, bye. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.